Jesus Forever Disciple, bringing you back some amazing gameplay content. This is a new game my friend actually showed me. Um, it's called Yi Xian, the auto deck, auto battling deck builder. <laughs> Right? It's a cultivation game, it seems like. Uh, I haven't played a lot of it, personally. Done uh, mostly uh, uh, like practice, so I am going to be going into a casual right now. And yeah, we're going to have at it and see what we can do. So I've been liking this character right here, Xiaobu. Uh, it seems like she works around... A whole bunch of different mechanics one of them being um, like debuffs and stuff but what I'll do is we'll just cut like I'll cut from here and then introduce bring it come back when the game starts Some opponents here this is a casual match and yeah so essentially I have been doing a lot of I don't know like research on my own trying to figure out how to play this game and how this game works and i think i have a decent idea on how it like how it's supposed to be played but um essentially like i'll be going up against these other people we have to make a deck using these cards here as they come up each card does something differently and you know for every like this one says physique here's a oh i have a timer hold on but uh oh drizzit <laughs> <laughs> That's from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. So essentially, I don't do anything. It battles on its own, depending on what cards I put into the deck and in what order I put them in. And like, oh, he's basically using the same cards. Nice. Oh, he is using the exact same cards. Oh, but... Oh, I went first. Yeah, I saw I win. And you can see Destiny, his points went down. And essentially, the goal is to uh end like with the most amount of points and you get kicked out of the running when you run out of points so um there's like all these different things like there is uh, like you can exchange cards here you can uh, use the cards to level your character up and when your character levels up you get like little bonuses and stuff there's like a mini shop here that you can look into once uh, the rounds open up there's a card guide so this is kind of like what in your end board your end deck should look like your end game deck should look like uh we are right now in the meditation phase so if we look i'll have to be quick if we look here these are the kinds of cards i get for the meditation phase and like you kind of just play it like that. So there's another facet I'll show you after that makes the game super, um, super competitive. So he went first because his cultivation is higher than mine, but I think I make it up in damage. Yeah, I definitely do. All right, so the next, the competitive er more competitive part of this game is that I can actually look at another person's deck and see what they used in the previous round. So we have one ex one additional slot here. So I'm going to put maybe I'll put this one. Uh, let me see if I can do a reroll upgrade. Nice. So actually I'll go like this. And I'll level up, I'll break through, get... Should I get that one or that one? I think since I'm going for debuffs, I'll go this one. And yeah, so I can look here and see that he has Sword Intent. I can read what Sword Intent does. He has a little defense on the end there, it gives him a little shield. So maybe I don't want to put one of my stronger hitting moves at the end there. I want to put it up to the front so that... It gets I get like as much damage off on him as uh, off on him as possible. I can see his cultivation at six, mine's at nine, so chances are I'm gonna go first. Let's see how it plans out. Oh, so he moved it up to ten, so he actually put in a bit more than I did. So that's what I couldn't see, but that's okay. We're still good. 
Okay, I'm doing good. Taking off more damage than he is at the moment. And it automatically speeds up on its own. Beautiful. Oh, that was really close though. So this... Oh, hold on. Let's pick this one. We'll get that later. So these red hearts, that means that it takes some of my HP in order to do those moves. So I am playing it real, really risky by using so many of those moves. So I think what I'll do is I'll take one out. And... Um, Actually, I didn't even take... Oh, because we have to put one more in. Okay, can I... There we go. So I'll sub that out for this one, so I'm not losing like 3, 6, 10, 13 HP every rotation. You know what I mean? So I think we'll do that. Um, we'll sub this one here, this one here. Let's see who we're facing. Uh, no defense, so we don't really have to worry about that. What's his strongest hitting move? 6, 10 on the 4th, so we'll probably go like this. Are we going to go first? Chances are we will, so I think I'll have a good shield up before his turn um, comes up. Mm -hmm. So I don't really understand what physique does, but I know that it's important for this character. <laughs> well, not like, like on the, it's, it's up there. Like, it's really, it's necessary to have. There we go. Yeah, easy sweep, easy sweep. Alright, so we are in the foundation phase. We moved out of the meditation phase. So if we look at the cards, we're in the Dushuan sect. So we're in the foundation phase. So these are the cards we're going to be getting now. Since I am focusing on more debuffs, these ones I don't really need much of. Um, it's here. Double Trouble is really good. Maybe a Tunicate. And then here, like these purple cards and then these golden cards. This is endgame stuff. Because remember, in here, uh, this is the kind of the one I want to go for. Because it's like super debuffs. This one is super debuffs. Power of Darkness sounds like an awesome name, by the way. Uh, so yeah, so a lot of purple, a lot of gold. So these are the cards I want to really wait for. So essentially I can kind of just not throw away, but I can resist using them for now. Uh, who are we facing? Okay, let's put that defense up a little higher, maybe around here. I know this character, this female character, she's from the five elements sect, which uses like a combination of the the elements in order to do a whole bunch of different stuff. Like this wood element she's using, it increases attack and heals her when she hits. The main one I really have to look out for though is if she switches to water, because that is like the most damaging one. Nice, so I was able to kill her. Beautiful. Alright, so we're still up on the up and up. Um, I don't want to do any more exchanges. Let's see what we have in the shop. Uh, this might be useful later. Destiny is destiny in your opponents. Upgrade. Okay, well, when my destiny is low, I'll look at that one. These two aren't in my... They are not in my endgame build, so I won't worry about them for now. Uh, let's do this to upgrade this. Oh, that's something you can do too. So you can take two copies of a card and upgrade it. And then to upgrade that again, you'll need another two copies and upgrade them and then put them together to make the final copy. So if you click and hold, you see it here. So it takes, so this is what it will look like at the end. Let's just break through real quick. Um, I think this one, Unbound, Unbound Key, is really good. 20 seconds, who are we fighting? Uh, okay, I think we're okay. I'll just throw that on there, throw that in there. And yeah, we're good to go. I'm in a really good spot, still at the top. Uh, haven't lost any points yet, but we'll see how this goes. Alright, starting off good. Charging up as he's charging up. 
So this is going to take off 8 each, so that's 16, but he runs into my shield on that first one. Okay, max HP goes down, but I'm still good for it. He might have that revive ability on him, so I'll have to watch for that as well. Okay, he doesn't have it yet. Alright, so we're getting into the blue. We're in the virtual soul stage. So I'll scroll down, virtual soul phase. Okay, so this is the one where uh, we'll be getting a lot of the cards. So these two especially. Oh, and this one too, because remember this one was in the final build. So if I can get a bearing load, uh, defense plus 11, so that means it has to be... Uh, it has to be leveled up, so I have to get four of them. Uh, so none of these I can really use right now. I'm going to send this in there. Oh, we got one. Uh, no, I, actually, yeah, let's do that one. No, still nothing. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Oh boy. One more. I have one more. Damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do that to keep my levels up. Oh, I didn't even get to check what she's using. Okay, hopefully my previous deck, like, builds will be fine. Oh boy, that 10 hurt. Defense 11. Okay, absorb that. Nice, nice. Oh, I'm doing way more damage than she is. Oh, she has to charge? Oh yeah, I won. Oh, wait. Oh! Okay. She had a... Did she have a shield? Oh, we got one. Alright, so this, I want to see if I can move that a little further up there. Um, okay, so we got the chance for debuff and the bearing load. The bearing load can actually go here, and then I can use that to switch out, level that up, use that to switch out, switch out, still nothing. Let's see who we're facing. Oh, she's moving more into the water. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, can we move some defense stuff down there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Put it here. Her cultivation is 24. I'm at 29. I'll do one more just to get to 30. Maybe that will put me above. I don't think she has six cards to, to get higher than me. So that ensures that I go first. Um, that ending isn't looking too strong. I won't lie to you. Um, oh no, and it uses up my chief. Ah! Okay. Okay, I was right. So she's at 28, I'm at 30, so I went first. Sometimes that's, that makes all the difference, just whether or not you go first. Oh, she has chase? Chase is like, um, it like moves... It like it gives you another turn, so it like moves your, like you'd use one card and then it immediately uses the, the next card. So that's like really good, because it helps you get through your deck faster. Oh, I think I'm good. Ooh, one more, beautiful. All right, so we're still good. Thirty-two out of thirty-six. Um, what I can do is I can save my physique and use that to um, level up because I just need it to get to 36. So that will actually be done in this next fight coming up. So instead what I'll do is I'll focus on trying to get better cards here. And I don't have anything as of yet. What I can do, though, is I'll switch this out. Mm. I have Chi. 
I don't know. That's 12. That's 16. So that will be stronger. That takes four health. I don't have any. Oh, I do have debuffs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have this one, right? Eternal Injury. So I can actually put that up at the front. That will transfer my Eternal. Actually, I can probably put it here. That will transfer my Internal Injury onto the enemy. And he's still going to be... He's going to be activating these during that turn. He is higher than me, though. He's at 37. So he's going to be going first. But I think I'm good. I think I'm good. What's his next star power? So we'll probably do... Oh, no. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do that. I saw, I saw a falling thunder there. So I'll see if my defense can soak up that damage there. Transfer. Yeah, see, I don't have that purple, that poison drop anymore. So he'll be losing 1 HP a turn instead of me now. Oh, that flaw was good. Oh, yes, Chi! Oh! Oh, no, I have two stacks. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. I didn't see this move on there. Okay, that's okay. We can't win them all. Can't win them all. Uh, oh, but we do break through, like I said, because we're able to get 36 using the Physique instead of the Cultivation. So what we'll do here is, yeah, we'll do this one, Undying Body. Oh, and we got the Soul Seizing. Nice, nice. Are we in the... Oh, we're already in the purple? That's beautiful. We're in the Immortality. So a lot of the... We need this and... Uh... Wait, which one should I go for? Probably this one. So I need three of those seizing um, abilities. So uh, let's stitch this, reroll this. Got crane footwork. That's good. That get that gives me chase. So I can use that. Oh, got one. You know, no. no oh, that might be good if I go like that. Uh, ditch that. Oh, that's also good. All right, so let's see how I can arrange this. If I go like this and then give him the decrease attack instead because the 10 agility, you'll see what that does later. Um, this heals me. So maybe if I go like this here. Um, will I need this as well? Oh crap, I don't have time. Ah! Oh no, I'm freezing. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I think maybe, possibly, we'll, we'll deal with it. It's fine. It'll work out. Alright, so we give her the decreased attack. Okay, I don't have enough physique to give me another chase yet. Okay, so I do there. So on the next wraparound, I'm going to be able to chase... Oh, I think I entangled myself. So entangle... Oh, I'll show you guys after. I want to finish this fight first. There we go. So entangle is an effect. It's like a debuff, right? And what it does, it, it prevents you from triggering chase. So where agility gives me chase, this stops me from using chase. So I kind of can't have them back to back like that. Um, I'll have to find a new spot for that, or maybe even take it off the roster altogether. Um, oh, we have two crane footworks? Okay, hold on, hold on. I see something. It's all coming together. So we have the 11. Uh, the two crane footworks and the physique isn't going to work out, so we, have to, we do have to take them off. Um... I think I have too many of these agility ones. I think maybe if I go like this, that will be better. Because if I transfer the decrease attack, I'm going to constantly transfer that over. The agility will help me. This will this will chase me into this. And then I apply one, apply one. Then this, and then I chase into this. Who am I facing? 
not a lot of defense here, so I'm, I think I'm good with like the, and then I'll just like heal for triple on on the back end here, and then we'll toss these ones in there to keep my cultivation up. Oh, oh, you see, it, it gets it's a little competitive. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little competitive. I like it. So there we go. We chance for the de the decrease attack. That was good. Now we applied two wounds onto him. A uh, wound and inflict uh, injury. Got the chase. Beautiful. <coughs> oh, he has chase too. Get a nice little heal. And then I heal as well. Oh, that chunked. Oh, he got the revive. Nice. Oh, yeah, I was able to kill him. Too many uh, debuffs on him. Okay, so this is good. So we'll just increase that. We'll like level it up. Send that in there. Oh no! Oh no, I was supposed to hold on to that. I was supposed to hold on to that. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. We'll play it off, play it off, play it off, play it off, play it off. We're fine, we're fine. Who are we facing? Okay, I don't see anything too dangerous here. We got a little bit of defense here. Ignore. No, no, I think this is a sweep as well. Um, yeah, but let's take another check at Power of Darkness. We need two of these. These two gold cards. This, hopefully, I get the bearing load back soon. And we're already, like, well off on this end. And this one has triple bearing load, but they don't... I guess that's for, like, if the enemy is going to be um, chasing a lot. But I don't see that right now, so maybe I don't need triple. But I would like to get my one back. Uh, but yeah, I think we're good to go. We can ready up. Uh, I wonder if I should wait till, like, the last minute to ready up. In case someone is looking at, like, my deck. So they don't get as much time to, to study it and stuff. That's uh, <laughs> that's like 102, 102 gaming. All right, let's see. Mm, I wonder if I could level this up. That would be pretty good too. But I think this decrease attack chase into uh, transfer the wound. That's really good. Uh, like that in this starting combo I think that's really really nice really nice all right chase yet so that crane footwork um, this one here it gives me a chase depending on how much physique I have so because I'm gaining physique every fight because of uh, this ability uh, eventually, I'm going to have enough physique that it acts as a chase as well. So it was a really good pickup um, before. So now what happens is this will chase into this. Uh, this transfers the debuff, the decrease attack. This applies to, and then this chases into this. So this, I can swap into something else um, as soon as I get something else. Because, oh, both players will stack one. Oh. Let's hold on to that. I, I, oh, I got two. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I might, this might be risky. So do I just do that? But then I don't have my chases. Do we still need to do the the chase decrease, or do we just pray on the? You know what? I have enough destiny. I will let's let's try it out and see what happens. Yeah, I like this. We're gonna keep that there. Let's try it out and see what happens. Oh, and I can break through. Add one HP every time you gain a. A debuff stack, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm facing someone that's already knocked out. Oh, I'm probably going to be facing their ghost. 
Is there... Oh, okay. I'll check that after. I'm wondering if there's like a deck guide that I can use. Yeah, so whenever you see it says Inner Demon, it's like a, a stand-in, like a computer version. I don't know why it says that, but yeah, that's, that's what it says. So this is on Steam. It's free. So if it is something you guys want to play or are interested in playing, definitely check it out. Uh, you can hit me up on uh, Twitch or even in the comments below, and I will try and share what little knowledge <laughs> I have about this game of you. Well, this is really good. I like the uh, the passive debuffs because it's like they gain it. Oh, we're in the incarnation phase. Okay, awesome. Uh, this is where we can start getting gold cards. Um. No gold cards yet. So I'm going to use my destiny to get three extra exchanges. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. We're kind of stuck here. Do we level them up? What does it look like when it's leveled up? Or do we just keep two of them? I don't think we should keep two of them because I only have one of these. Or maybe I level this one up. What does this look like leveled up? 10 instead of 7. Will that affect... I think so. I think that's good. So we do this. Oh, I can't chase a chase. We'll do like that. Or maybe like this. No, no, this is fine. but level it up. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> I'm just going through it in my head. I think that's good. Alright, so yeah, we play a tune. Get the, get the poison on myself and them. Beautiful, do it again. Alright, so we start now. Increase, yeah, chase, yeah, chance for the debuff. Yeah, give her the weakness. Alright, that doesn't take off as much. Agility, yeah, get the chase, go into it again. Heal. Woo, that's a big heal. Yup, that's another big heal. Because I think the heal is based off of how many debuffs I have. Oh yeah, demolished. Beautiful. Oh, and we got the Shura. Oh, and I got another... Oh, this is too easy. Let me see if I can get that soul card. There's like a gold one. <laughs> it all comes together. So I don't even think I need these anymore. I don't think I need that anymore. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I don't even think I need this anymore. What does the... What did the build look like again? Uh, no, it was this one. Oh shoot, I did need two. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll play it off, we'll play it off, play it off, play it off. So, Shur's Roar. Uh, debuff, no, sorry. The speed up in Shur's Roar into Entangle into Soul Cleave. So I don't have the Entangle anymore. So I'll swap out this, that for that. Soul Cleave into the two, into the three. See, these are all seven basics, so I think I'm good with one being ten. I think I'm doing more than I need to. But what I can do is I can merge these two and swap in this and put that in there and keep the, the debuff. Or should I even put in the heal? I don't think I need the heal anymore. I think we're okay with the heal. Right? Let me do that. Let me see if I can get something else. Oh, there it is. I think this is overkill, though. Oh, I probably shouldn't have swapped that. Because it gives me debuffs as well as gives them debuffs. Oh my gosh, his culture is at E? Mine's at 66. He's probably full build. That's why. He just sends all his extra cards into the, into his culture, into his uh, 
cultivation. I don't know why I keep calling it culture. I have more HP though. Oh, never mind. Chase into the heal. Nice. More debuff. Him giving me debuffs. Oh, but he has an attack that. Oh! He has an attack that's based off of debuffs. I'm good. Okay. Oh, that guy's gonna be a problem. Because he has an attack, this attack here. For each attack of debuff, it gains two more attack. So he's already giving me uh three stacks, three, four, seven, two, fourteen, fourteen, and nine is what? One, ten, that's like twenty-three on top of whatever debuffs I personally have. I might have to sub in a heal in there. Like an, another heal. Uh, let's see what else I can get. If I can get another one of these uh, soul cleavings, that would be really good. Beautiful. So, um, what I will do is I'll do it like this. So that gives him both stacks of decrease attack. Right? Because um, I'll have two stacks by this time. That gives them both. Right? Then I get four, and then I give him more, and then I chase into into the heal in case things look kind of dire. So I don't need any of these. I'm contemplating putting this back in. Like, I can merge those two together and then put the heal back in, but I think that would be a bad idea. Let's see, let's see. We are completely off the original build at this point. We have gone a wall. Oh crap, he went first. 76 to 72, that's okay. Force, all right. So apply both, nice. Yeah, apply more. He chases in, oh jeez. I, I have a heal coming up, so I, I think I'm good. Big heal, big heal. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm still good, I think. Oh, no! All right. I think the two, I think the two is overkill. I think the two is overkill. So, um... Oh, are they not the same? Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, I think the two is overkill. And I do think... Um, one culture, one destiny. Oh, if your destiny is less than your opponent. Oh, 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 one deck and it started. With... Okay, so we'll have to use that for the next guy. Um, uh, I'll get this just so I have, an, I'll have a card so I can throw in there. Okay, let's upgrade that. And you know what? We'll put the heal in here. Or should I do this one? I want to say what do you guys think, but you guys aren't here right now. Uh, I don't know. You know what? We have destiny to spare. That's fine. We will. Let's try it and see. Because I'm definitely not going first. But what's his first turn? It's literally just this, right? Just these two. So I can do this, this into this, and then this will apply two stacks of each debuff you have. Okay, so that will two decrease attack, two eternal injury, and two wound. So maybe I should do it like this and like stack up the debuffs first. Oh, let's try it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see how it works. Let's pay very close attention here. Okay, so I'm rocking one, two, three, four, oh, plus the debuff he just gave me. Thirty is nice. I have another thirty coming out. Oh boy, that's damage. Whoa! Yikes! He didn't stand a chance in that last part. 
Uh, I can't do that, but I can't... Oh. Did I level this one up already? Holy schmooks, I don't have... Okay, this I will have to send. I'm getting a lot of beginner cards, like the cards I had from the, from the get-go. Okay, so... Upgrade one card in my deck at the start of the battle, so I'm definitely going to do that. I wonder, I, hopefully it's like one of these cards that it upgrades. Um, he's going to go first, plus he's going to... Actually, he might not go first, because I could like send all of these in. And I might go first, because he's at 81, I'm at 83. Maybe he doesn't have... Um, enough cards to to thing to send in. Yeah, let's just start it. We're good. Oh, he was waiting on me. All right, this is the finals. Oh no, he went to eighty-eight. Oh, he definitely had cards. Starts off with more health than I do. But that's no matter. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy, these, these, these hits are hitting. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my gosh. 28. It wasn't even close this time. Alright, so maybe I'm doing too many debuffs at the beginning. Can we sneak in a heal? At the get-go? Can we sneak in a heal? Can we do that? Let's see what else I can get here. Maybe I can... We, there's something in here that will oh both players cannot trigger chase that might be I would have to go first though I don't know if that's that strat is possible right now I have another seven another seven stack it, it came back on um, this one came back too. I don't have a musician card. Okay, I want to swap this heal in. I just okay. We'll probably have to do this, All right? And then go like that. Maybe like this, because I I was dead like early, like around here. I was dead because this I think. This went into this, and then gave an extra attack. So this chase into this. My turn. This, this chase into this. Yeah, so I think it was around there. If he goes first, I wonder if that'll be... So I mean, I'm healing twice, so maybe that should be good. Alright, let's, let's, let's give it a whirl. Let's throw these in there and let's give it a whirl. 93, I'm not catching up at all. Alright. And a nice fat heal on there. Some debuffs. Alright, so this next one is where I died last time. Alright. Oh, whoa, he went three times in a row? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're getting closer to what it's supposed to look like. Um No, we we are we're completely off off the record here. We oh boy. We have no there's no precedent for this. Oh, the load is back. Bearing the load is back. Oh, I couldn't get another one. Okay, 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 okay. Mary, maybe bearing the load is the cincher that we need. Where should I put that, though? That should be in the beginning, so he can't... Um, but I have to pass it on to him. So I have to maybe put this here. And then apply both stacks, and then get my heals, get my heals off. Or maybe swap this out for that. I don't even think we're going to get this far in. 
Maybe that's fine though. Maybe we'll do it like this. Get all my heals back to back. Because one, two, okay, I can, I would be able to chase here. Or you know what? I know, I know, I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. I know, I know, I know, I know it's crazy. Okay, try it. He's going first without a doubt, but I think I can get him with the entangle before his chases come down. Nice. Did I imply the entangle? I did. Yes! Okay, the heal wasn't as big as I thought. Oh no, where's the entangle? Did he use it up already? Oh, I'm dead. Oh? Oh no. The poison was too much. Alright, well. A second's not bad. A second's not bad. It was a good fight. I couldn't, uh... I couldn't crack the code of his deck. But yeah, that's Yixian, the uh, auto-battling cultivation game. Free on Steam. Check it out, check it out if you like it. Um, and yeah, I'll be trying to upload more matches. Uh, only casual, I don't think I'm ready for ranked yet. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot, and you guys have a good one.